I was having uh, several exchanges with some of my non-Muslim friends. Uh, the topic that came up is the matter of uh, Anwar Ibrahim in US, uh, in the mosque, uh, who was uh, invited to deliver a uh, Friday sermon. Uh, following that, he was presented with the opportunity of someone named Andrew who wanted to convert to Islam. So, out of honor on the invited uh, person giving sermon, him being a PM of a country, uh, they also decided to make Andrew's day by getting a prime minister, a Muslim prime minister, to lead his conversion. So, all went well and is converted. And PM Anwar, him being a PM in a mosque, uh, firstly, is already rather historic because, you know, how many... Malaysian PMs has been invited to give a sermon in a US mosque. So that happened and obviously there were a lot of people who liked it. Some people don't like it. Uh, but it receives a lot of media attention. So even his whole uh, sermon was filmed. So obviously when he's leaving or when he's presented with the opportunity of somebody who wants to convert, him being a Muslim, any Muslim will not miss that opportunity like, because it's such a big uh, big thing if you can help lead the conversion of another uh, non-believer to become a believer of Islam. So, PM Anwar did it again. So, the issue is, this is the second time, the last time uh, when he went to see the Elmina punya victims. He stopped at the mosque on Friday. Uh, there was an Indian boy who also converted and he did that. He received many uh, praises and also brickbacks from people who don't like it. Uh, somehow, some non-Muslims are very pained by this because to them, they feel very betrayed that Prime Minister of Malaysia, even though he's Muslim, he seems to favour one religion. He converts people from other faiths into his religion. So because of that, they see that as a betrayal and they are disappointed. They don't understand why he must do this. They say that it is not his job. As a PM, he should not do that. He's not being sensitive to people of other faith. Uh, you know, all these sort of things. Now, what I want to state uh, uh, for people to understand, to, uh, to understand it, because I'm sure many non-Malays think this way. Uh, Malays, of course, happy. Wow, oh, PM kita convert uh, non-Muslim into Islam. Uh, tapi this is, uh, you know, it, it shows divisiveness uh, between the Muslims and the non-Muslims. And therefore, you know, I think there is a need for me to clarify this. Okay, first things first. Freedom of religion. Malaysia embraces freedom of religion. Uh, but, however, kita punya laws don't allow Muslims to leave Islam and convert into other religions. Uh, it's just that way and this is pre-existed well before even this Prime Minister. Okay? Uh, but, as far as Islam is concerned... There is no compulsion in religion. Such is the decree of Allah. Jadi, anyone yang non-Muslim will not be forced to become Muslim. But if they see the light or they be guided or they want to be married to a Muslim, whatever their motivations are, they want to, as Muslims, Islam welcomes, come. And uh, when Islam welcomes, Muslims are expected, uh, obligated to bring brethren into Islam and uh, with in the case of Malaysian PM uh, PMX he's a Malay he's a Muslim by birth he is a Muslim Islam is his religion and until today he loves being a Muslim he loves Islam and he believes in Islam he doesn't believe in other faith but he believes in the rights of others to practice and believe in other faith so therefore, because he is a leader for people of all faith in Malaysia. He is the Prime Minister. But he himself, he chose one religion. So, kalau a non-Muslim want to be upset, he should upset why this PM choose only one religion. He should be having all religions. He should be a Muslim, a Christian, a Jew, a Buddhist, a Hindu, a Sikh. He should be all. Uh, baru dia PM for all Malaysia. Cuma that doesn't happen. Nah. All our PMs will have one religion. Our chief ministers, 
one religion. Okay, kau cik minister kat Penang, Buddhist ataupun Christian, whatever. One religion, itu religion dia. And when they go and perform their rituals ke apa ke, they go to one house of worship. They don't go to other house of worship and worship there. Tak. So, in the case of PM Anwar, dia semayang kalau Jumaat, uh, dia pray, Friday prayers, he goes to a Muslim mosque. He does that. So, Anwar Ibrahim, everybody sees him as PMX. Now, he he acts and he operates, uh, his office is a prime minister. That is the his capacity. But what else is Anwar Ibrahim? Anwar Ibrahim is also a father to his kids. He's also a husband to his wife. He's also a son to his parents, nephew to his aunties and uncles. Okay? He is also friend to his friend. He's a Malay. He is also a Muslim. A Muslim citizen. He's also that. He is also a Islam worshipper. So he can also be a person who likes motorsports, who likes to dance, who likes karaoke. So therefore, every person have multiple facets of roles and what they are. So it is unfair and ridiculous to expect the PM to be PM and nothing else. He is PM, he's also Anwar Ibrahim. Jadi, when he performs his prayers, he doesn't perform his prayers as PM. When he goes to perform his Hajj, he doesn't go to perform as PM. Bukan PM perform Hajj, Anwar Ibrahim perform. Faham tak, eh? If he sleeps with his wife, he doesn't sleep with his wife as a PM. He sleeps with his wife as a husband, Anwar Ibrahim, kepada Azizah. Understand this. So likewise, when he converts somebody, he does that as Anwar, the Muslim, the regular Muslim. And therefore, when he goes to the mosque, eh, all of us, when we work, we are allowed to pray when we need to pray at the appointed times. Fridays, we have longer breaks. And Fridays, we go and perform our religious obligations. We go there to pray. Some people do more than that. Some people... Uh, bernikahkan orang, ada orang buat, whatever it is, during that period of your time, when you are allowed to perform your religious obligations in the mosque, you can do whatever you like, even you can sleep a bit, you can take a shower in the mosque, you can eat, you can also convert people, and uh, him being the celebrity at the VIP there, people of the mosque arrange for somebody who wanted to convert, for him to lead the conversion, uh, to grace the event. But that somehow pained many non-Muslims who felt betrayed. And therefore, this betrayal is misplaced. They feel that, you know, how can a PM that represents them of other faith do this, convert people from other faith to his religion? No, itu salah. He is not acting as a PM. He is not being a PM of other faith as well, converting somebody from other faith to Islam. No. He is doing that as Anwar Ibrahim. Can people, can the rakyat, can the world see the PM as a person? He is also a person. He is not just the office that he holds. If you can't see that, then you have blinders and you are warped in your thinking. Uh, I don't know where this blindness stem from. Is it Islamophobia? Is it the uh, you know allergy to a religion? Ataupun the simple inability to understand the multiple facets of capacity that we each assume uh, with regards to ourselves. I am uh, an executive, uh, a, 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 a middle rank executive in a GLC. I am also uh, a member of many committees. I am also uh, an active active participant of motorsports, uh, group drive enthusiast. I also partake in political groups, in religious groups. I got friends, I got family, 
I'm also the referred to cousin by my cousins and my siblings. Uh, I become internal consultant to my family. You know, I got multiple roles. And uh, I also enjoy my things. I also uh, go out and party. I also perform some religious obligations. I also eat. I have many, many facets of my role as a person. You know, people who know me in one sector doesn't know my other facets unless they get close to me. So, I have other things. So, therefore, kalau PM kita uh, likes to uh, do gardening and therefore, dia tolong orang tanam pokok for somebody. Uh, so, that is his facet. Okay? What if he, uh, what if PM Anwar uh, at uh, Raya Haji, uh, dia also patik, uh, dia nak derma uh, satu korban lembu. So, he slaughters, he as the owner, slaughters a cow. So, do I presume now Hindus should be offended? Because a PM, the PM is also for the Hindu punya faith. So, dia semelih uh, sacrificial animal sebagai Muslim, Marah kan orang India? This I can't help but to wonder. Tapi I think it just need to be put into perspective lah. Eh. Whatever the PM does, yang orang tak suka optics dia, eh, he's not doing that as PM. Faham tak? He's also entitled to be Anwar Ibrahim. He's entitled to do that when he is not working. So therefore, uh, dia punya kawan-kawan pun boleh sembang, boleh perli dia, boleh... Uh, tepuk-tepuk belakang dia as friend. And they're doing it to their friend, Anwar Ibrahim, bukan the PM. So, hope our rakyat Malaysia can understand that. If they can, then it's, it's going to be a pro big problem. I can at best explain, and if people cannot understand, then what can be done? Uh, you know, persist in your hatred and your criticism. If you really don't like this PM because you feel they are insensitive, there will be other PMs in waiting, uh, aspiring PMs, come GE16. So many. Hopefully, Mahathir, Hadi Awang, Muhyiddin, uh, Azmin Ali, uh, semua tu will be alive and well and available for you to select. Select, uh, you know, others and uh, hopefully uh, those other PMs uh, will lead better, be more sensitive to people of other faith and not convert anymore non-Muslims to become Muslim. Assalamualaikum.